Hi, my name is John and I'm a busker in art stations among many places. My musical background is I started playing the violin in school. I started taking private lessons, classically trained, uh, and started busking when I was like 10 or 12. Uh, to pay for summer lessons. And as a 12 year old kid, I was super short. I made mean, bank when I was a little kid. So I paid for my lessons, had some spending cash. I played with orchestras, amateur orchestras. For a long time, I was more of a wedding violinist than a private gig violinist. And on occasion, I'll still do those. But I mainly bust it because of the freedom and really the money is comparable to playing at a wedding. Comes down to it, but not a suit and all that for a wedding. I can just go down and bust. It's, it's nice. I started 22 years ago, and I took a seven-year break from the ages of 18 to 25. I'm 29. Typically, I almost exclusively play Baroque, Bach, and Vivaldi, and now that I've discovered the depth of box work, I probably won't bother learning anything else. He's got enough for a lifetime. Yeah, Powell is like my home. It's not like my territory or my turf because I don't like to have that that claim. But it's where I feel most comfortable. And it's where I know all the other buskers as well as the people without homes that live down there, so I just feel safe. But I had a lady grab a couple dollars out of my case. We all knew she was kind of going that direction, but usually if I raise my voice and say no, or I kick my case closed, it's always working fast. But she was a little quicker than my foot, I got away with two, I think three dollars. I only got two back from the police, so maybe she pocketed one or something. One thing I want to definitely make sure the world knows, because people don't realize this, people without homes are far more likely to be the subject of violence than they are to commit a violent crime. I'm not scared of the homeless. None of us should be. There's a lot of different types of buskers out there. Some of us do it full-time as our profession, uh, like me. Uh, some people do it for fun on the weekends because it's fun and sometimes it's people without homes that are trying to put food on the table but my general philosophy is the music is always free whether you want to throw a dollar in the case or you want to stand there and watch it's up to you just enjoy it all <laughs>